Hi, I'm Kenzie and I'm doing the streaming for a Zoom musical this month and I wanted to share my streaming setup with y'all because more people should stream Zoom musicals and so I'm going to share this setup as a baseline. Um, it's not perfect but I think it's got some really good elements and so here it is. The main thing that this setup does is it takes the keyboardist audio from their digital audio workstation and it takes the Zoom call audio, which is where all of the people uh, talking and singing are coming from, and it puts them into OBS as independent audio sources, which means that uh, they're not gonna interfere with each other, and they're so they're gonna come cleanly out to the stream, and you get to uh, ride the faders. You get to adjust the volumes of those two sources independently before and during the show. Disclaimer, this does not show what the setup looks like from the keyboardist's side on their computer. It also does not explain the mic checking and the gear help that you should be giving to your actor singers leading up to the show to make sure that their individual audio quality can be as best as it can be with their current gear. So here's what you need to have downloaded and installed to do this setup. You need to have the Zoom desktop client, open broadcaster software, which is the interface that you see here, audio movers, <laughs> and Soundflower by Softonic. The links to all of those are in the description. Okay, so first we're gonna do the audio sources and then we'll add in the video source. To get the keyboardist's audio, we're going to add a source audio input capture source, and let's call it audio movers. And we're just gonna use the default device, click OK, then right click on audio movers, the source that you just made, and go to filters. Uh, you can't see it, it's below, it's like at the bottom of the menu, filters. Okay, and then once you have that up, you're going to add, and again, it's at the bottom of the menu. Ugh, let me move this up so you can see it. Here, VST2X plugin. And I'm just gonna call this Audio Movers Listen to Receiver, because that's what the plugin itself is called. Then I select it. This will just show up if you've already downloaded Audio Movers. Listen to Receiver, open the interface, it's open on my desktop, you can't see it yet, but trust me. And then also click open interface when active. Okay, it'll show up somewhere on your desktop. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna add our Zoom audio source now. Add another source and an audio input capture. And let's call this Zoom audio. This time we're gonna pick Soundflower, one of these, it doesn't matter. Now, these devices will show up as options once you've downloaded and installed Soundflower. Hit OK. That's half of it. The other half of it is you go into your Zoom audio settings, which I'll just drag over here so you can see. And you're gonna change your speaker to Soundflower, uh, whichever number of channels you just selected in OBS. And so it's basically like the sound is going from Zoom into this Soundflower thing and then device, and then it is going from the Soundflower device to here because you selected it here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a record and replay thing so that you can see the audio coming in. Okay, so test, 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 test. Here's the playback and you should see it coming back now. Let's just put the zoom window visuals in here because uh, that's the last step. Okay, uh, again, you can't see this menu. I am choosing display capture um, and we'll call it zoom meeting video. Okay, <laughs> great. We're gonna crop it to a window, choose the zoom meeting window it's at the bottom of my list. Uh, and let's not show the cursor for this one. 
That's important. And then this is not, oh, let's get rid of my FaceTime camera. Yes, get rid of that. Okay, here's the Zoom window. It's poorly cropped, but that's not the point of this video. Okay, so I'm going to drag the audio movers uh, user interface into this window where you can see. Okay, so this is what the audio movers user interface looks like. It's right here. And Bryson gave me a session link, so I'm going to paste it right there um, and connect. So now that I'm connected, you can see sound coming in here because he's playing the piano. Even though we can't hear it, we see the sound coming in through this audio source. We go uh, to the gear, that's settings, and unfortunately down at the bottom of this menu that you can't see, it says advanced audio properties. I'm going to click there. And I'm going to change this audio movers audio monitoring to monitor and output. For the zoom audio as well, you got to change it to monitor and output. Now, when somebody is talking on Zoom, we will see it in this Zoom audio mixer. And when, when Bryson's playing piano, we will see it in this audio movers mixer. Bryson, would you do us the favor of speaking and playing at the same time so we can see both of the inputs coming in? <laughs> and that means when you... Like for the actual show, Bryson is going to be on mute the whole time because he's not going to be the one talking. His audio comes through audio movers. Can you play a little bit more, Bryson? And we can adjust that audio like this so that we can hear a singer better. That's it. Go do a Zoom musical. <laughs>